Hello, this is Shafti Shafti, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And today we are actually continuing with our uh, chemistry and auto crafting system a bit more. And between the last episode and this one, I did some stuff. Actually, uh, you, as you can see, we add some signs there. Also, I made three more auto, uh, two more automations. First, polyvinyl rechlora, right? Which takes, uh, let's get a wrench, ethylene, and chlorine as input. Then combine it with compressed air, and we get polyvinyl rechloride and also an excess of the empty cells. Yeah, we get empty cell, and then it's... Yeah, this process got some extra stuff. Uh, it produces hydrogen, I think, if I remember correctly. Also, I uh, changed the oxygen to uh, just air, compressed air. Yeah, we lose some uh, efficiency, actually half of it, but oil is free. Slow, but free. Also, I didn't move the oil uh, from here, here to here. I just temporarily put it into system because I'm thinking a different approach for all the crops. What I'm planning to do is either to here or to there to get more altitude, add some farming areas and move the results with train. Uh, if you don't know about uh, about me, I love trains. Anyway, I don't like trains. I love trains. I also turned all the power generation here into a single thingy majiggy. So that's that. I also crafted the circuits. So we technically have four EV circuits at the moment that we cannot use. So yeah. Actually, we can use. Yeah, this is re gonna require. Yeah, three of them. And actually, we might use that. Distillation tower. Yeah, we can now make distillation tower. So, uh, but we ne I need to make more EV circuits. Actually, three more EV circuits. In total. Anyway, also, silicon solar gra grade SI, which is actually. Uh, an amazingly simple recipe. Let's look at it. Uh, also, we have a satellite pipe here. Uh, satellite pipe is actual is extension of the normal pipes, and I put the raw silicon dust into satellite pipe because I want the output to be in direct connection to it. Anyway, we put the, put the sil silicon solar grade poly SI. Uh, as output, and we get, we put uh, raw silicon dust as input. The input goes there. Whoops, I messed things up. Okay, and fixed it. Uh, input goes there, and then it reacts with this stuff. Let me just actually shove it. Solar grade. And let's get 64. Why the hell not? Also, as you can see, I have something here. Yeah, that. Uh, that's an upgrade that we can put on the thingy magic key. Yeah. Uh, if we look at this, so, uh, if we mix it with hydrochloric acid, we get hydrogen and trichlorosilane, and both of them moves to there. And then we get. Let's get it. Yeah, trichlorosilane. Yeah, and remix it with hydrogen, uh, we get silicon solar grade and hydrochloric acids back. So, it's just... It's literally zero cost. Minus the energy. Anyway, let's continue with our uh, fun adventure. First, I need to put some... Yeah. The pipes are here. Now we need to put first assembly machine here. This line is going to be 
polyethylene line. Now first, let me just get some chassis pipes. Uh, chassis spark my Mark IV and basic pipe. Thank you. And let me just put basic pipe and the chassis pipe. And yeah, this recipe is ready. I'm not putting the fluids. You will understand why. Yeah, we use too much pipes, guys. And how this process is going? Yeah, okay, it's going. We can follow the entire process. And if it's a chain uh, thingy, we can actually follow the entire chain. We need anil anil copper. I guess. I guess uh, it's anil. I really don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry. Oh, okay, we have some here. Voila. And the no boom is good thing. We don't want boom. We don't like boom. And our jetpack is dead. You are already dead. I will just do this. And voila, this guy has power now. And what I wanted to do is providing a simple yet elegant way of fluid transfer. Yeah, let's get a simple tank. Actually, I wonder, can it directly put into the uh, pipes? I don't know, but I don't want to test it. And ta tanks are cheap. Tanks are super cheap. We need to program this. Molten polyethylene. And it has... Oh, wait. Actually, no. I, should, I think I should directly attach to this guy. Yeah, it would be more expensive, but it would be super useful to control the uh, flow. Yeah, it would be a bit expensive, but let's go for logistic pipes. Let me look at this always. If I do this, it will fill it. And molten polyethylene, come here. Yeah. Uh, one batch uh, moved to there. And yeah, four buckets of molten polyethylene. And now if I want to... Uh, capacity. Uh, transistor, capacitor, SMD, SMD. Okay, uh, I think I sh you should be having the ah okay, SMD capacitor because I put it into wrong place, and I did the same thing with here, and we can now make them, and if I want. Yeah, the fine tantalum uh, wire. One stack of resistors. And if you look at here, it will slowly move to here. Yes. And yeah, I need to set the circuit. Circuit 3. And there uh, it's doing its thing. So. This was one of the bottlenecks for uh, our circuit crafting because those guys are were not automated. Uh, I need, oh, I always had to batch craft them, but now I can just request them whenever I want, and they will be on my inventory with a little bit of crafting time. So are we starting to automate? A lot of more things. A lot more things. I cannot speak today. Nor any other day. Okay. We also need to add one more. Uh, which is diodes. Uh, they are four. They are circuit four. And any is there any other circuit four ones? Yeah, I need to look up. But there might not be any other. Lubricant. So I might use the, that uh, circuit to craft machine holes. 
I'm gonna organize some stuff and then... Egg. What? Okay, that was interesting. Uh, that was really interesting. Four chickens per egg. That's kind of something interesting. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's continue. Okay, if you remember correctly, uh, we have an access uh, to the in inside inventory from here, but we cannot directly put our pipes to these guys. But I have a solution for that, which is having a buffer between the pipe and the thingy. And you're going to be... You become the red network and insert from black. Uh, you export black and insert from red. Thank you. Now, another. Oh, did I... Oops. The second one, okay. And I cannot go... Okay, because we we forgot the jetpack. I forgot this part. Okay. Now, uh, the second one is what we need at the moment. And actually, let's move you from here to here. Okay. The second one. And actually, let's do this. And voila. You will be, again, extract red. Insert red. And extract black. Insert black and with that we actually molten thingy magic is there a chicken here is there a chicken around my base because i keep i constantly keep getting some eggs or someone is just egging me anyway <laughs> Let's continue with our piping. And I need more uh, more conduits, uh, but also I need for one testing purpose. So I need to that and that. And we just are you a basic pipe? No. You should be. You should be one. Unroot. Now, what we're going to do is temporarily put a basic pipe here and chassis pipe and crafting module. Now, let's, for example, put the Microsoft processor here. Six circuit board, central processing unit, SMD, SMD capacitor. This and this. Voila! And now, if I look at our system, we will see something. Uh, so I need to organize those guys. Is the, do they have any place to stay? Okay, capacitor has. Uh, the resistor has capacitor and transistor. Now, also, I need to put uh, the central processing unit. Yeah, central processing unit and you two and uh, read random access memory. Random access memory. Let's get you. I should have some more random access memory, actually. And let's also put all of those. The system. And random access memory, come here. Okay, 
Do you have any place to stay? Yeah, you have, actually. And central processing unit needs one. Oh no. Uh, okay. We have a chicken problem. And I don't... I cannot find it anywhere. Now, if I... Okay, you are microprocessor. Microprocessor. Let's get eight. It's requested. It's going from here to here. Yes. And if we look in, inside, I don't want to go from here. Let's go from here. Okay, is it already crafted? Or always active? Okay. Okay. Oh, it's not pulling. Always active. Yeah. Why are not pulling? Why you are not pulling, my friend? Round robin. Self feeds. So if I do this, are you going to pull? No. Okay, let me just debug this. Okay, I changed the colors from red to green here. And it worked. Okay. And the processor. Okay, and that's the main issue. Yeah. We need to put filter to this guy. And let's get the filter. Let's get two and... Let me get my filters and microprocessor. Okay, one is missing. Is it here? Yeah, it's here. And let's put the filter here. And insertion, you blacklist microprocessor. Thank you. And if we request a microprocessor, Four more. It's, it's not detecting that. Why? Oh. Oh, because I put it to the system. And now why it's not taking again? Okay, we have some small issues with this. I don't know what, but we have some consistency issues. Okay. I'm wondering what the issue is. Okay, it seems the issue solved. I move. Oh, it's having a aneurysm here. So let's put one more filter. Insert, extract, blacklist, and microprocessor. So. It's not going to pick because we kind of sort of reset the this guy, and I don't know how to cancel the the thing request, thingy magicy, but we need to cancel it. And microprocessor. Let's make two more. 
And is it going to work this time? I hope it does. Uh, because if it's not, I need to find a better solution. Okay. Uh, it works. And we should see a circuit coming here. Yes. Okay. It's sold. It is sold. And those guys are arrived. Yeah, that that is cancelled, but I don't know how we are going to cancel this guy. Let me try... Where was it? Where did I put it? I should have one a tool that debugs this guy. Okay, logistics pipe controller. And if I go... Let's do this. And we still see. I think we need to reset the system. But... Yeah, we have to do that after everything is done. Uh, this guy done. Currently, it's going... What? What? You shouldn't be provided to this guy. Click that output, okay. How you manage to get in there, my friends? My strange little friends. Okay. We need to cancel everything. <laughs> we need to cancel a lot of things. Anyway. Uh, I will pro it's probably just removing that guy and yeah and I think I need to put another filter here for this to have not happen again anyway actually I have a one more solution just add one more cell here because it requires Two sets of cells. Uh, you, it cannot use one cell. That's a much more easier solution. Anyway, we add this guy, and also we automated the circuit crafting a bit. We also we still need some more things to add, but yeah, we can craft any circuit we want now. And I will probably add more chassis pipes uh, around this fella. So, this is Scrafty and actually, uh, let me just put it here. Okay, I technically ended this video, but after that, I uh, thought something. Mo I'm using uh, logistics pipes outside. And I put the input here with a categorization. But the thing is, none of those guys have a uh, crossing recipe with them. This guy doesn't use any of the recipes that those two guys this guy actually requires this guy and and or some other thing and this guy doesn't even require or use anything those two uses but this guy produces so i think i can turn entire thing uh, entire inside to a logistics pipe network. Yeah. I will think about that, but currently it's working, so I'm not going to bother with it anymore at the moment. I will try something on my creative test world and I will come up something entirely. The only problem is I need to pro provide 
sold, molten soldering iron to this and lubricant to this. If I put them on top, I can put a connection to back and I just can pump from outside to them. So that might work. That would actually work. So yeah, I think I found the solution too. Yeah, I will do some testing on the creative world and maybe I will convert enti this entire setup into a thingamajiggy. Also, we might uh, need this guy too, which also requires EV circuits. Yeah. Anyway, this is Scrafty Scrafty and have an amazing day.